All right, let's have the Mike Tomlin discussion real quick, why don't we, as it was, you know, a lot of people were talking about it after this loss to the Colts here on Saturday afternoon of football, and while a lot of it is just the frustration of the Steelers just not looking good in general, and, you know, uh, you know, obviously at the point where they fired an offensive coordinator midway through the season, but there were some decisions that were not great, I thought. This was the biggest one. This is the one that people were most critical of, and I would be very critical of myself. Uh, this is, I mean, it's just, it's not the right decision. So here's the situation. It's currently, the Steelers are down 11 points, so... Well, yes, a field goal technically makes it a one-score game. You know, the difference between a field goal and a touchdown is pretty big, obviously. At the same time, though, really, I mean, again, some people like analytics, some people don't. I, I like analytics, and analytics basically tell you it's almost never a good decision to punt instead of kick a field goal if your kicker has a chance to make a field goal. And currently, it'd be about around, I don't know, 56, 57 yards for Boswell in a dome, Feels like this is the opportunity to, just in a vacuum, it probably makes more sense to go for the field goal here. Field position doesn't matter that much. Because even if you miss it and you give up a field goal, it's still a two-score game. You know, As long as you don't give up a touchdown, then it's still going to be a two-score game. But you have the potential of making it a one-score game. Instead, as you see, the Steelers elected to punt. And did this decision really affect the game? I mean, it affected the game. It didn't decide the game, obviously. You know, uh, the Colts still went down the field and kicked the field goal, didn't get the touchdown. It was still a two-score game after this, uh, but definitely takes the wind out of your sails a little bit. You would have liked to have the opportunity. Again, who knows? There's momentum and all of that. I don't think the Steelers were going to come back and win regardless, but at least, you know, it could have potentially made it closer uh, for sure. I should mention the play prior, people were criticizing as well, because it's a third and 14. You only need a few yards to get in field goal range, so they didn't even necessarily need to, uh, you know, they didn't need to ha have that decision. If they could gain five yards or so here, you see Trubisky is going to take the snap and throw it r relatively deep for the first down marker. Um, but to me, that's less of a coaching decision because, you know, this route or this play had plenty of options on it for more underneath stuff if they wanted to. Now, again, maybe you could argue that it should have been drilled into Trubisky prior to this play. Hey, you got to go underneath. We got to gain some yards here. You, you can say that. You can. At the same time, though, uh, you know, you can. I think you can put that blame on Trubisky or the coaching staff, whatever you want. Uh, that To me, that's more of a gray area situation. Not, not sure exactly. You know, they would know who to blame. I can't definitively sit here and say this is who you should blame. And also this play, which I brought up in my video about the Steelers offense, it's a you know, second down and 21 situation, and yet you're going to see Trubisky hand the football off. They also only gain a yard. Uh, I brought this up in my video about how, like, best case scenario, this was getting you like seven yards or so, maybe 10 yards, best case scenario, but probably around seven yards, even if it worked. Uh, so then you're still looking at a third and 14, which is still a tough situation. Granted, the Steelers actually converted the third and 20 here, so they, you know, that worked out. At the same time, though, uh, definitely was not a great situation. So, some some tough tough decisions by Tomlin. Although I think it's fair to say multiple things. Uh, personally, the way I look at this, I don't think the decisions were the deciding factor at all. I think the Colts are a good team, and the Steelers aren't right now, at the very least. And I also kind of look at this roster and say, man. If anything, they've still overperformed what this roster should have done, in my opinion. In my opinion, this is not a 7-7 seven seven football team. They're kind of, you know, fortunate to be where they're, they are record-wise anyway. And again, is that because of Tomlin? Is that because of Luck? Is it Steelers voodoo magic? I don't know, but I think it's fair to say multiple things. I think Tomlin deserves criticism for this, and also there's a lot of other issues going on. I think that's reasonable to say. But yeah, those are my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.